Welcome to this uh, third part of the tutorial on writing cell diagrams. Hopefully if you've had a look at the first two where we represent the electrochemical cell then look at some more complicated half equations. Now on to the third and final part in which uh, we're working out how you would write the cell diagram for which E cell is positive having been given a couple of half equations. So first of all we're going to have to answer the question which is the right hand electrode if E cell is positive and therefore the other will be the left hand electrode. Then we'll do an example with the hydrogen oxygen fuel cell. And finally, uh, end of uh, tutorial test or assessment, if uh, you can use these two half equations to write the correct cell diagram for which each cell is positive, then you're doing pretty well. So answering the question, which is the right-hand electrode if E cell is positive? As I said, we're going to have two electrode, two standard electrode potentials. So uh, one will be relatively positive to the other. I'm going to apply this rule, which I've used uh, throughout these tutorials on uh, writing cell on on electrochemical series and electrochemical cells. And I say that the more positive electrode will proceed in the forward direction. This is reduction and goes on the right. So the idea here is that everything's positive, it's forward, it's gaining electrons, and it's on the right-hand side. And we can use this because we want to know what's on the right-hand side in the di cell diagram. And of course, that will be the one with the more positive standard electrode potential. So looking at this example here of the hydrogen oxygen fuel cell, two half equations, two standard electrode potentials. This one here is more positive than that one there. So we're going to say that this one will proceed in the forward direction. That is a reduction. It's gaining electrons. And we're going to put that on the right hand side. Obviously this will be the opposite oxidation and then we'll go on the left hand side. So looking at the answer here, here is the cell diagram, the correct answer. On the right hand side we've got uh, these which correspond to this top half equation, the oxygen and the OH minus. Uh, we've got to follow the red ox ox red pattern, so we're going to start with the uh, ox part of the uh, top one, so that's all of that in a square bracket. Then it's uh, on the right hand side is the OH minus, so that's the same. Then on the left hand side we're going to have uh, this uh, half equation. And we want the reduced first and then the ox. So first we're going to have that, and then we'll have uh, this species afterwards. Now having done these a few times you might sort of notice a bit of a shortcut that you can make. Uh, the more negative electrode is proceeding in that direction, the reverse direction. The more positive in the forward direction. We start from here, red, then we go ox, then we go ox, then we go red. And if you notice in the cell diagram for which E cell is positive, we start with this uh, here, that's that. Then we go to this one here, then we go up to the oxygen there, and then we finish there. So if you can have this idea of going around in a circle and starting from the bottom right, going around in a clockwise direction, end up uh, top right, and those four species there put in order will give you the correct cell diagram. That What that will mean is that we could look at the cell diagram and say that that reduced species becomes that oxidized species, that oxidized species becomes that reduced species. So final part, what would the cell diagram be for the cell with EMF plus 0.62 volts or positive EMF, which would occur if these two half cells were joined under standard conditions? There's the two half uh, equations, there's the EMFs, and I could scroll down for the four possible answers here. So you might be able to apply the rules that we've just talked about to uh, work out which of these four is correct. If you can do that, I reckon you're pretty much on track in terms of writing cell diagrams. Okay, bye for now.